Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Scenarios. My name is Shivam Kumar and today we'll be discussing about the very interesting topic of the process builder series that is the part 9th. So today what we'll be discussing about is that we'll be taking care of how to create the specific record with the help of quick action. So let's jump into my Salesforce org. So first what we are doing, we'll be taking the scenario as let's say account will be the parent object and child will be the contact related to that account. So I'll be creating one quick action on account object and I'll be using that quick action, creating the record with the help of process builder in Salesforce, right? So yes, let's get started. So I'll be hitting on this object manager and I'll be going to the account object. So yes, going to the button links and action here. So I'll be creating one new action. Name is, I'll be giving that as create contact. That is the action type will be the create record and the target object will be contact object, right? So label I'll be giving as create contact. So yes, I'll be hitting on the save button. So we are pretty much good with the creation of button. So we will uh, also check that on the quick action button, what, what all fields we have to give. We have given name, email, phone number, account name and title. Those fields are enough. If we want to add any other more fields, we can be able to drag and drop like this from here. But yes, for the demonstration purpose, I'll be not dragging and dropping any kind of field here. Those fields are enough for me, right? So I'll be hitting on save. So yes, my page layout is safe for this particular quick action. What I have to do now, I'll be duplicating this tab. I'll be typing their builder as we have to create process builder. I'll be hitting on process builder here. We'll be jumping into the canvas right from here for creating the process builder. So I have to create the new process. What I'll be doing, I'll be hitting on new button. Process name will be create record with quick action. Yes, the API name, API name will be this. The process stands when a record changes. I'll be hitting on save button. So let's say I'll be selecting the add object here and I'll be adding the account object because I have to create this process builder on account object when a record is created, right? There is particular one object existing, uh, one process existing on this account object. So that's why it is giving me the notification that account already has an active record change process, right? So guys, yes, when a record is created, I'll be creating this particular process builder. I'll be hitting on save button right from here. So next step is I'll be adding the criteria on which criteria I have to create, right? So create record. So for us, I'll be not taking any kind of criteria, right guys? So. If I want to take any kind of criteria for that, I'll be selecting any kind of field related to that operator type and the value, whatever criteria I have to add. But yes, for my condition, I'll be not taking any kind of criteria. So I'll be select selecting this radio button that is no criteria, just execute the action, right? So I'll be hitting on save button. So that is the definition of my criteria. No criteria I'll be using in this particular process builder, right guys? So yes, if I go to the immediate action, right? So what I have to select in the immediate action, this is the plus icon. So if I hit on this plus icon and going to the action type, right? So what I have to do, I have to select the quick action. What will be the action name? Let's say create record. And filter search by that is particular object and my object name is account, right? So yes, account. So on account, I have created one quick action with the name create contact. So I'll, when I'll be selecting this, 
I got this related record ID and the last name that is the string, right? So if I want to add any kind of value in this or any kind of other fields in my quick action, right? So I can be able to add row. Let's say we'll be having email or salutation or title, anything like that or we'll be having phone. Let's say business phone is there if you want to add anything, right? So I can be able to add right from here itself. So yes, for now, I'm not adding anything. I'll be just demonstrating for this related record ID and last name. If I have to copy, if I have to check this related record ID, then what I'll be doing the field reference here, right? Let's say account ID will be taking hitting on save so related record ID will be the account ID because this particular quick action is related to that particular account so that's why I'm taking the account ID here right so for last name what I'll be taking I'll be creating the field reference that is the account name right so yes that is the account name so I'll be hitting on save button so that is the process which I have created account again I'll be reiterating the procedure what I have applied here I'll be creating this process builder on account object my criteria node will be having no criteria because I have to run this process every time whenever a record is created right that is the contact record related to that particular account whenever we are creating the account then automatically contact will be creating with the help of process builder right guys so for immediate action i'll be taking the create record in create record i have applied the criteria as selected the quick action and then i'll be moving to the account object in account object i have created one quick action button with the help of that quick action button automatically we can select that and with the help of that we can create the contact record right so i'll be hitting on the activate button so my process builder is activated now hitting on confirm right so i'll be moving to this screen and now moving to sales yes i'll be hitting on this account tab creating new account account name is create action right 2020 let's say has there any kind of other field i have to populate no nothing required field is there so what i'll be doing i'll be hitting on save button right so my account has been created with the name create action right so create action account has been created and automatically a contact is also created with the same name because i have created this process builder and automatically only two details will be there one is record id map and one is the name and automatically related to this particular account create action 2020 because i have taken the field reference as account name means whatever fields I have to take in from the account, I can be able to take in the process builder and automatically this can be happen, right? So guys, yes, at the end, this is a very good form of automation we can do with the help of process builder itself. So yes, guys, thank you very much. Have a great day and please like, share and subscribe my channel. I'll be coming up with all the amazing scenarios. I'll be covering all the Salesforce topic from the deep inside so yes bear with me and hope to see you in the next video session